So in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to make your own custom moving title cards, just like the one that you're seeing right now. Now there is no skill involved in this. If you already know how to use a video editor, you're going to be able to create this very easily. It only involves just a few very simple steps, and I am going to be teaching you today in Final Cut Pro. However, you can use this tutorial in any video editor, even on the website Canva, you can create something just like this. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. Okay, so in order to create this particular transition, you first need to determine what you want your background to be. I feel like this is going to work best with certain types of abstract uh, textures, such as like a paper texture like I'm using here. But what you can do is once you figure that out is go to your web browser, go up to a website called Unsplash, and then type in there for whatever type of background you would like. So in my case, again, I did choose paper. So I just scrolled through the different types of paper texture options here until I found one that I liked. I think this is actually the one that I chose. So what I did do was download this white one, took it into Photoshop, made it a horizontal image, and then I did a inverse of the image and exported both a black and white version. So that way I can have black text over a white background or white text over a black background. Okay, and then once you get your image ready to go, go ahead and put it into your video editor's timeline. You might have to scale it up. I know I did, mine was a little bit smaller when I pulled it in here. But what you're gonna do is put it in and then only have about four to five frames worth in here. So altogether, this isn't even a total second. So what we're gonna do is do Command C to make a copy of that frame, hit Command V to drop it in, and if there is any spacers there, just go ahead and delete it. So what we're gonna do with this second image is we're actually gonna rotate this 180 degrees. So now what we have is two identical images just rotated against one another. So now we'll just go ahead and copy those two again. Go ahead and paste that into the timeline. And then just continue this on out. And I did mine for about 8 to 10 seconds. So we're going to stop somewhere right around 10 seconds. And now you can see we have a 10 second animation where it is literally just two different images for about five frames a piece flipping back and forth. And it looks like we're actually like traveling through space or a multitude of other things happening right now. So all you want to do at this point is just export at the resolution of your choice. For me, I'm going to do 4K because that's what I do all my videos in. And then I'm just going to save that file somewhere on a hard drive. And then, of course, when you add your text, people can't tell that that's just two images going back and forth, back and forth, because their main focus is going to be here on the title text, which allows you just to have that. Now, if you wanted to scale this image up and down and kind of change the scope of where things are so there is more movement, you could take more time and do that and make each of the different frames something different. But I think a 10 second one is very good. And I think it works very well and it's super easy. So I told you everything was gonna be super easy and you can use really any type of image that you wanna use. You don't have to use like that paper texture like I did. You could literally use any other texture out there. Just know that some images it probably won't work for at least doing it the way that I did. You might have to have a series of images or kind of do some different types of movements and things like that. For mine, it was pretty easy. For yours, you might have to do a couple extra frames or slides in there to make it work better. But if you did like today's tutorial, be sure to leave a thumbs up on today's video. And as always, be sure to create something new today.